Alright, so welcome to the Carnival Mardi Gras. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a tour of all the bars on the ship. Now they claim by the billboard downstairs, by the elevators, that there's 13 bars. Somehow, I feel there's more. Let's count them. up here on deck 18 in the serenity area with the serenity bar right again the serenity bar is located on deck 18 here in the serenity area and that is bar number one there is no bar up on life loft 19 so the closest bar to that area is the serenity bar all right, moving on down to deck 16. Bar number two is a two-story Red Frog Rum Bar, which takes up decks, again, 16 and 17. And again, on this ship, there is no Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. There is, a, however, a Blue Iguana Cantina, but no Blue Iguana Bar. There's bar number two. Sit at the Red Frog Rum Bar. You can sit down here on the lower level. Or you can go right up these steps to the second level. This is your second level of the Red Frog Tiki Bar. And it's actually a nice view from up here when you're sitting at a table. They're limited, but there are some. Just outside the marketplace, back here in the Tides pool area, we have bar number three, the Tides bar. Pretty much if everything back here is open, it's open. That is bar number three, the Tides Bar. All right, going from deck 16 aft back down to 8 aft, there are no bars, no venues, or anything on decks 15, 14, 13, 12, oh, there is no 13, I forgot, 11, 10, or 9. So we're now on deck 8. Alright, so bar number four is called Flavor Town, which is located inside the Pig and Anchor restaurant, located deck eight aft, just inside of Summer Landing. It's a big hangout at night. A lot of people crowd here. They got a good band in here. And that's your bar. Bar number four. All right, so just outside of the Pig and Anchor, you have one of my favorite places, the Watering Hole, which is on the starboard side of the ship, outside, again, the Pig and Anchor, on deck eight, aft. Now there is no inside seating in this bar, but I'm gonna show you one just down the way down there that does have inside and outside, and you can smoke out there. No smoking out here on the uh, watering hole. So that concludes bar number five. All right, bar number six. Bar Della Rosa, located mid-deck on deck eight and then what you can do is go outside here and then you can also sit out here it's a still bar della rosa bar six 
but you can sit out here and also smoke. So that concludes bar number six. So bar number seven is located forward on deck eight. That's called the Havana bar. Again, this bar plays pretty much Latin music. And it's a kind of small bar, not really anywhere to sit at the bar. And they're getting ready for a wedding, as you can see. But that is your bar number seven. This is open to anybody, but to go outside, you have to have a wristband and belong in one of the Havana suites. All right, bar number eight is located inside the casino. The casino bar. And it's located between the non-smoking and the smoking sections. And it's a pretty good sized bar. But again, dead center of the casino. Midship on deck eight, seven. Deck seven. All right, here on deck seven midship, we have the Grand View Bar, which would be bar number nine. Bar number nine is the Grand View Bar, which is located right here by center stage. Grand View Bar is again number eight. All right, so bar number ten, the Alchemy Bar, one of the most popular bars on the ship. All the drinks, no matter when you order them, will taste the same because they measure everything out. And it is located deck seven, just above or right before the bistro and a little bit aft the midship. Again, on the starboard side, you know, carnival ships, promenade usually runs down the starboard side of the ship. So there you have it, the Alchemy Bar, bar number 10. All right, so this is where it's going to get tricky. Bar number 11 is called the Steakhouse Bar, but it's not on the list. But this is open every time that the Steakhouse is open, so you can sit out here while you're waiting on your table. You get it. And this is deck seven aft, the Steakhouse Bar. Again, bar number 11. All right, so bar number 12, here almost, midship on deck six is the fortune teller bar another popular bar that a lot of people eat at or drink at and uh, this is where you can get a drink that they make with a big bubble on top of it probably saw terry drinking one of those in a previous video and she said it didn't really taste that good <laughs> so But yet it is a popular bar. So that is bar number 12. Now, according to the list, we only have one more to go, but I know that's not true. So moving on to bar 13, I just want to show you that's where the fortune teller was. You have to come across the ship, across the mid deck, and then this is the Brass Magnolia Bar. Brass Magnolia is where you can get your chocolate martinis because the fortune teller doesn't make them. And then this is a kind of a two-story bar here. And then I'm going to show you something cool about this bar which I have showed you in my videos, and most people don't even know it exists, but you can watch the people gambling up above you. So again, 
the Brass Neck Magnolia. That is bar number 13. So according to the list, we've seen all 13 bars. I'm gonna continue. All right, bar number 14 is the center stage bar, which is located right here in the central atrium. Give you a perspective. Doing a lot of work out here. So there is 14 total bars on the ship. Closing it out with your center stage bar, which is also located right near the Java Blue. So bar number 15, just when you thought you were done, is the piano bar. Piano bar is located deck six forward, just across from the common club. There's your 15th bar, the casino bar. So there you go. There is all the bars that are on board, 15 bars. And that's again, not counting like the blue, uh, the blue Java, because you can get spiked milkshakes there as well. And I'm fixing to get me a Frappuccino, not spiked, but a Frappuccino. So anyway, 15 bars. That's not counting again, some of the stuff that they do behind the scenes to make your drinks. Alrighty. Thanks for watching this. Hope it helps you find all the bars on here. Maybe if you want to do a pub crawl, it's kind of fun on this ship when everything is open. Buddy, thanks for watching. I'm Patrick with Party of Two Cruising. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.